Hello and welcome back to Evil Land 2. Okay, she gives me for a moment because there's something. I love pop up windows from applications that you pay for. Oh. You are clad in strange dress. Ha! Huh, there's a half man among you. Then you must hail from the Molecular Research Center. Those people are all quite screwy, if you ask me. This is one of the prime locations of Anomaly Centered Research. We study its properties and then come up with amazing inventions. I hope you don't mind that, I will go... Okay. Let's go here first. The megaliths were designed using data taken from the Anomaly. However, they are not yet operational. Perhaps one day you will be free to run the timescape, as it were. Anomaly goes as far back as our oldest records, but we have only spent the last few decades analyzing its makeup. The data have been most illuminating. Perhaps our research will be used to prevent the end of time. The end of time is looming. The great destruction that will engulf time itself. We need to find out how to prevent it. Least all of existence cease to exist. Using data from the anomaly, we invented a terrifying item. Judging from our experiments, it allows one to erase anything from the timeline, making it so the virtual never existed. We call it the Key of Time. Because of its potential for misuse, it was divided into five fragments. Each piece of the key was given to a separate island. We had one ourselves, and after much debate, we decided to send it into the anomaly thereby ensuring no one could ever bring together all five fragments. Without a doubt, the power within the key of time poses too much of a risk. Then again, perhaps the world will require such a power to withstand the great distraction. Were we wise to keep it out of reach? No, sure. I cannot get... War, so instead I'll get those two out. Is everyone having this grandpa? If I can keep on piecing him down bit by bit, then we'll only do one more attack. Like, ooh, okay. Well, now sees. He'll kill that guy. But then again, this will allow me to land another hit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Because it goes from far, far, from back to front. He had something that cost five and he discarded it. Why though? We won! You're very lucky, you know. There, you deserve this card. Some of our colleagues say that time travel should be restricted, warning against the potential repercussions. But we have highly secure protocols. A temporal modification could never happen. After all, we're only interested in collecting data, not in altering the fabric of time. Ah, oh, you know. I don't know what those guys at the Molecular Research Center are up to, but apparently they're using our data to build some kind of huge machine. I sure hope they know what they're doing. 
Here at the center, we examine the animal's physical properties. Its diameter has changed very little over the last few centuries. Nothing that goes in can come out again. At its horizon, space-time disturbances have been detected. The anomaly seemed to swallow up time itself. Pretty amazing stuff, wouldn't you agree? Trusty. God damn it. You have to know what the cannon for. We call this a large Hyperion cannon. It's quite simple. We use the LHC to send the first objects into the anomaly. Afterwards, we examine the temporal output at its horizon. Would you like to send something to the anomaly using the LHC? I see you are not a member of the Anomaly Research Center. You'll have to get authorization from the archivists at the Creator Library, which is where the Temporal Ethics Board is based. Yes. Can I get it? Nope. How much? <laughs> oh, right. Ah, they cost zero. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I didn't like that. Now oh, I need to discard one of you. Um, bye bye, old man? No. I need him. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, and he's not attacking, so he won't get hit this time. Oh, that's cool. That will kill you. Yeah, we're not. Uh. No? Wait, what? I was sure we should, 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 we should be dead. Now we are. Oh no, that that guy. Ah, okay. He blocked one of his uh, far spots, like behind, with the guy that couldn't shoot. So there's that. Do you think someday the animal will engulf all time? Ah, what a romantic thought. We have a lovely view of the animal from here. Yes, I'll let you sit Oh, nice. That's the anomaly. <sighs> Ooh. Welcome to Megalith Isle. This island was artificially created with the help of Roboservos, uh, designed by the Molecular Research Center. We plan to install a new megalith here before long. True, they are not yet finalized, but soon enough, this spot will become a popular point of departure for temporal ex exploration. That's disappointing. I came all this way to see the Maglev, but it's not set up yet. I don't entirely trust those roofs, Rose. 
What if someday an artificial intelligence take o takes over and sends robots back in time to kill us all? Oof. Not terribly likely that. Construct. Build. Enlarge. Destroy? No. Not destroy. Instead of attempting to travel through time, they should be devoting their energy to saving it. When time is no more, we won't be traveling anywhere. Okay, those are still destroyable. That's good to know. Looking for Vikings. <laughs> really? It's not it. But I mean, everything is green. I cannot tell if we are on snow or not. Access to the Mercury Research Center is restricted to authorized personnel only. Oh, it's you. You're already back. It's it's fine. You can go through. In addition to our research on creating new life forms, our studies of time manipulation are proceeding well. If all goes according to plan, we should be able to prevent the Great Calamity. Some of the greatest scientists are working in the Anomaly Research Center. It's quite a shame their research hasn't been fully applied due to the levers of a zealous board of ethics. Luckily, we don't have the same kind of restrictions. <laughs> Are you new here as well? I was just accepted into the Mulker Research Center. It's amazing what they're doing here, wouldn't you agree? This is world of changing stuff. You're a new BT. Would you happen to know what goes on in the satellite world by any chance? I don't have access to that area, but it sure seems incredible. Here are some of our most beautiful creations. These creatures can harness energy from nature and store it biologically for us to siphon at will. All thanks to miracle of molecular science. With the help of these creatures, we'll have a near limitless amount of energy at our disposal. Luckily, a sufficient amount to sustain a major project. The tiny Tiki has gotten big, don't you think? At this rate, he'll be as big as one of the old Dark Age continents. Then he will generate enough energy all on his own. Who knows, maybe it would even swallow the anomaly. Those new hybrids are wonderful, aren't they? They'll certainly make good servants. Aren't those demons? Yeah. Access to sub level restricted to authorized staff. Access granted. I'm trying to... Okay. At the most crucial junctures, you have to make tough decisions, G. We're counting on you to keep the project alive. I've spent the better part of my life planning this project. With any luck, I'll see it put in motion within my lifetime. Yet, there is still so much to do. I have a thing that we shouldn't be here. Do you realize what this machine could do? Should we successfully complete it, we'll achieve nothing short of immortality. To think that if we hadn't managed to remove the stone of time from the anomaly, all of this would have been inconceivable. You did what? It will take us another several years to complete this project. Apparently, the Molko Research Center has dealt with our energy supply problems. But we have to finish things up ourselves. Time is of the essence. The Great Calamity draws close. So, you were chosen for the project, huh? It's a big responsibility. Keep your chin up. Oh! <laughs> 
We've made... Okay, okay. But why did they let us in here then? I don't know why did they let us in here, really. Since there's nothing new for us, I forgot about it because it was at the very beginning of the game when we saw the, that. I think yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember us traveling by boat. Maybe that's why. There's nothing here. Um, But other than that, we've basically started the game here. Hmm. Oh, so that's basically it. Wait, where is the library then? There's nothing else here. Oh, that's the library. Hey, Clunk! This is a library! I, I, I mean, this must be THE library of the Magi! The one said to contain the entirety of Magi knowledge and understanding! Please, oh, please, 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 let me look around. Sure. Thank you. Ah. So you just want to take the steering wheel. Okay. If you're looking for a particular book, talk to Professor Gagel. He'll point you in the right direction. He has an addictive memory. How's he come up with those new weird names? You are in the Great Magi Library. For the sake of other patrons, please refrain from talking. Also, chocolate and invisibility cloaks are strictly forbidden. Man, why is every library such a killjoy? Scanned documents come to us from the Dark Ages. It would appear the anomaly already existed then. And of course, the end of time theory originates from the distant period. At that time, it was known as the Great Destruction. Time's strange, yet the same fears persist. Did you know that centuries ago, the sea level was much lower? Evidently, something caused the fast frozen continent to melt, thus allowing the sea level to rise several meters within a few decades. Unfortunately, most of the records from that period have been lost. It's intriguing to think there used to be a few large continents rather than several islands. That era is known as the Dark Ages. Maybe someday I can travel back to the Dark Ages too. There is so much to know, to discover, too much to learn in one lifetime. It saddens me deeply to know that each life invar invariable ends. To know I could never read all the books in existence or visit every land. At the same time, that might be why I consider each moment equally precious. It does make you think... Much has been written about the end of time. Most Magi strongly believe the event is nigh. As a result, pure research has advanced light years in a short time. I happen to be a skeptic. If time should meet its end, it shall happen. But I see no reason to believe it shouldn't carry on as it always has. Hopefully he's right about that. To make my dream re a reality, I'll have to read about 2,000 books on various subjects. What's my dream, you ask? To work at the Molecular Research Center. It is far and away the best research team in the world. Have fun with all the reading. According to recent studies from the Anomaly Research Center, the anomaly exists in all times at once, but it remains to be confirmed. That is precisely why the Magalith project must be finalized, in spite of those who deem it too dangerous. I 
can confirm the maglives were completed. The Big Book on Cooking with Spices. That's in room D, shelf 7, row 68. The top 50 figures on the anomaly, room A, shelf 18, use the ladder, row 42. The end of time from, for dummies. Someone checked it out and never returned it. This must be the famous Professor Cargill. Quite the memory he's got. Wait, do you want something from him? No, no it's the same. I'm on the board of temporal ethics. Our role is very simple. Establish guidelines and protocols for preventing accidents in time travel scenarios. We've prepared for all contingencies. That is, assuming everyone follows our recommendations. It's nice to know someone's planning ahead. Good day, miss. How may I be of assistance? It just so happens I... I came into possession of a book some time ago. I'm afraid I don't understand all of it. Would you be willing to help me decipher it? A book, you say? May I see it? Yes, here it is. My word. It's stupendous. This is a full tier treatise on the science of cold. It makes some fascinating assertions. Might I make a copy? Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Gargle, please. Yes, Archivist, what can I do for you? Quickly commit this work to memory and then make a full copy, please. Alright, right away, sir. Not to worry, this should take but a moment. I'm all done, sir. Thank you, Mr. Gargle, that will be all. Thank you kindly for contributing to the Great Library. It will surely take a number of years, but we shall eventually decode those equations. And that will enable us to replicate conditions of extreme cold. We will, of course, have to carefully monitor the reactions. We don't want to freeze the entire island by accident. <laughs> At any rate, by way of thanks, you have my approval to use the Research Center's large Hyperion cannon. You'll find it in rather... F it's rather fun. But take care not to send any cold thing into the anomaly. That's precisely what we are gonna do. <laughs> uh, now that you gave me the idea... That's in a couple of years. Hmm. Looks like our time here is up. But I still have so many things to find out. No, I tried. You do not have any things. We call okay large hyperion R cannon. It's quite simple. We use the ELHC to send various objects into the anomaly. Afterwards, we examine the temporal output at, it, at its horizon. Would you like to send something into the anomaly using the LHC? Ah, you've received approval from the archivist at the Great Library. Well, if you have the approval of the Board of Temporal Ethics, it shouldn't be a problem. What would you like to launch into the anomaly? Clank. Are you serious? You actually want to be launched into the anomaly from the LHC? Yes. Very well. Everyone ought to be able to choose how to die, I suppose. Ready? I've got a bad feeling about this. Fire! Oh, there's another, another island down there. I think. He is merely unconscious, Miss Vina. It seems to me you are in the heart of the anomaly. Yeah, it feels awful strange here. Sort of warped. Most likely caused by the number of frequencies. This place appears to somehow bend reality. Clank! It worked! Come on, 
All we've got to do is find the Madra key fragment. But we have little certainty it's even in this location. Sure. Still, I'm itching to see what's up ahead. But that is gonna be it for today, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!